Hello, SF Logic Ninja here, or you can call me David Earl. I don't care. Uh, doing another from home episode of tips and tricks for Logic for YouTube. Um, <laughs> I have like a lot of subscribers now. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I will make it worth your while. And here comes the cat again, trying to infiltrate. But um, this time, I'll be too fast for her. Um, the environment window, setting up the environment for external devices. Let's get to it. All right, so a lot of you have been asking me, you know, if you have an external MIDI device, how do you set up Logic to use it? Well, here's how you do it. Um, one way you can do it is you can open up your library. And right now I have an audio track, so I need to go external MIDI, create general MIDI device. So it's assuming that I'm going out to some kind of general MIDI device. Well, that's not exactly what we're looking for. Because most of us have, you know, cool synths, Tritons, uh, Rollins, Korgs, Yamaha motifs, things that are cool. General MIDI devices are generally kind of lame. So what we're going to do, let's get rid of this. Get rid of that track. Close our library. And now guess what? More scary environment stuff. So here's what I want you to do. The first thing I want you to do is hit 8 on your keyboard. It takes us to screen set 8. Screen set 8 right now is an arrange window. Hit Apple 8. That's going to open up an environment window. You can also go up here to screen set, uh, I'm sorry, window, and then open up environment as well. So we get an environment window. I'm actually going to close this arrange window. So how do we set up instruments in Logic? Well, the environment window is where all of our MIDI routing takes place. All of it. So in Lesson 3, if you guys haven't looked at Lesson 3, I want you to go and look at Lesson 3 because it's a very, it has a lot of very important concepts that I'm going to talk about right now. Right now, in my environment, all I have is the audio portion of the setup of uh, Logic. So right now, it, I've only created a track for monitoring my audio and sending it so I can talk to you guys. Um, I have something called pre-listen, which is automatically set up for monitoring audio when I use like sample edit window or the audio bin or something like that. I have a click setup, and I have the audio output and an audio master fader. Okay, So those things were created in the arrange window. If I was to go back to the arrange window and have a look, um, I have audio 1, and if I open up my mixer by hitting X, I can see that there's an output 2 and a master. Now I'm going to go back to 8, okay, screen set 8, and I see audio 1, there's output 1 and 2, there's the master, something called pre-listen, and click. These are not available in the, in the uh, arrange window because uh, Logic 8 has decided that, that the click and the pre-listen are just going to be in the background. They're just going to work and you don't have to worry about them. That's fine. So like I said, I'm not going to get too much into the audio portion of the environment window because most of that stuff has gone into the background. You can do all of that in the arrange window. Um, so check this out. Let's go up here to the left. These are called layers. See where it says MIDI instrument? If we had any MIDI instruments, this would be a good place to put them. So let's go to MIDI instrument. Now right now they have something called general MIDI device. Well, remember when we went back, uh, when we were in the arrange window, and we tried to open up an external device, and it gave us a general MIDI device, right? Well, that general MIDI device was living in the environment window. Here's a very important concept. The environment window and the arrange window are linked to each other. Okay, The environment is basically a snapshot of what's in your studio. Okay, So if you've got a bunch of audio tracks, the more audio tracks you create, the more of them are going to show up in your environment window. Okay, But Logic 8 doesn't require you to use the environment window at all when you're working with audio. When you're working with MIDI, that's a whole different thing. The environment window is where all MIDI routing takes MIDI routing takes place. If I click up here and I go to global, uh, click in ports, we have a physical input that goes to a sequencer input. Okay. When I touch a key on my keyboard, it goes into this object and then travels over to this object. This object basically goes to the arrange window. And if I was playing MIDI right now, 
the MIDI would be assigned to this audio track, which basically means that the MIDI is not going to do anything. Okay, I was just playing my keyboard and nothing happened, right? Whereas if I had an audio instrument there, Okay, I have an audio instrument here now. If I hit the keys on my keyboard, I can see that it's now receiving MIDI and it's playing that instrument. So the MIDI goes from here to here to here. Easy enough. Now, remember, anything that's in our arrange window has to be in the environment window. So if I hit screen set 8, and I go go to this uh, pull down here if I go to mixer guess what there's my EVD6 it got created in the environment window once again the environment window is a snapshot of what your studio is and what your studio is capable of so let's get back up here I gotta really watch the time this time MIDI instrument alright I'm gonna get rid of this general MIDI device All right. In the environment window, if you ever want to make anything, you go to the new pull down. So let's go to the new pull down. There's something called an instrument. I'm going to give this instrument a name. So if I click on it, its parameters come up on the left hand side. So I'm going to double or just click where it says instrument, and I'll say uh, uh, Dave's instrument. Good enough. Now. This instrument, essentially what happens is, if I have it selected in the Arrange window, then MIDI is going to hit it, right? MIDI is going to come in, just like I talked about. It's going to come in through the Physical Input, go to the Sequencer Input, and go to the Arrange window. In the Arrange window, if this is selected, then the MIDI is going to go into this object, and then it's going to go to a port. This is a physical port. Okay, This is a MIDI port on my computer somewhere that can go out to a device. So let's say Dave's instrument is actually a Nord lead. Okay, now Dave's instrument is called a Nord lead. And it's going out port 1, so that means that the Nord lead is attached physically to port 1 on my computer, the MIDI port 1. And then this is the channel that it's receiving on. Okay, here's the program number. This is how I can change patches within the Nord lead now. Okay, that's cool. Here's how I change banks. Okay, banks, program numbers. Okay, now we have volume. If I turn that on, now I can control the volume of the Nord lead from Logic. Panning, now I can control panning of the Nord lead from Logic. Okay, transposition. This means that any, any MIDI that comes into Logic will automatically get transposed. Any velocity automatically gets changed. We have key limiting. So this means that it only listens to a specific range of the keyboard if I want to. Velocity limiting. It'll only listen to specific velocities from my keyboard. Okay? So now if I go back to the arrange window, I can actually select it. Here's how you do it. If I hit add, external MIDI, create, Check it out, it automatically made the Nord lead, because the Nord lead is the only thing in the MIDI instrument layer of my environment. Now if you wanted to actually change the status of this track, if you wanted to change it to something besides the Nord lead, you just hold control, click, and then here's what this is about. When you control and click, you're choosing the layers of the environment, okay? Reassign track object, guess what? Click in ports, MIDI instruments, mixer. That is our environment window, okay? So we can select anything in our environment window by holding control and clicking on a track.